What's up you guys, it's your casual clone and today we're going to be taking a look at the Fortnite Victory Royale series from Hasbro and the particular figure is called Metal Mouth. Now, this is completely different. I have never done a Fortnite action figure review. However, I always see that the figures apparently or the Hasbro figures are a lot better in terms of articulation than I would have expected. And this is also going to be my first ever plastic-free packaging. Well, mostly aside from that window here. This is, I think, one of the first ever figures or the line of figures that has mostly just cardboard packaging. There's no plastic aside from this right here and maybe those little tie straps right there. That's all the plastic you're going to get in this package. This is a Fortnite Battle Royale skin that you can purchase in the item shop of the game doesn't do anything, it just looks cool. I'm going into this review blind, I haven't seen any reviews of this figure. So as you guys can see in the front here, you have a nice artwork of Metal Mouth himself. I remember that in the game, the skin has three different styles. This is the default style with the little grayish tone. There's I think also a winter style and a green style. It says Metal Mouth, this name of the skin right here. Then it says at the bottom here, Fortnite Victory Royale series. Then of course, Epic Games logo right here and the Hasbro logo together some other stuff. Then on the side here, it shows you all the accessories the figure comes with. Since it's a plastic free packaging, you cannot see it through the window. You can only see the actual figure. So you have, seem to have a back bling right here, his pickaxes, that's what they are classified as, and a heavy sniper rifle. Nothing else on this side right here. Then on the back, you have a 3D rendered product shot of Metal Mouth himself holding his pickaxes with again a image of the three accessories he comes with and at the bottom we have some legalese and nothing else. Metal Mouth at the top and then not much going on the side, it's just the artwork continuing so that you can have the full figure. At the top you can also see that the latch here that hangs on the pegs is also made of cardboard so it kind of shows you again that this is a plastic free packaging figure. Then there's not much going on at the bottom, just some more legalese and the barcode if you guys want to have the barcode, here it is. So let's get right into the figure review and take her out of the package. Then we're going to take a closer look at the accessories and then we're going to be taking a closer look at Metal Mouth himself. Now I'm not sure how to open these, I haven't done this before. Just got to check which the best way, I think the best way to open these is from the bottom here. So let's slice it open. The camera in the way. Okay, you have some, seems like, uh, warnings on the bottom here. Yeah, you just pull it out. This is a bit annoying, hold on. And here is the packaging. So they put all the accessories in seemingly those white paper bags with some tape at the front here. And then the figure itself is just being held down by those plastic zip tie thingies. But the rest is all just cardboard. So let's try to get this out of here. Let's see. This is just some regular tape. And it's like, it's. This reminds me a lot of those um, those like lunch bags that your mom gives you when you uh, when you go to school. That's those like the bags that she puts your sandwiches in. Okay, so you can just rip them off. So you have the the back bling right here. We're gonna be taking a close look at that in a second. And what seems to be the sniper. Also gonna take a close look at that in a moment. There they are. So these are the pickaxes. Again, we're gonna take a close look at that in a second. And now we're gonna be trying to see how do we, how do we get rid of this? Let me see, I think it just, I don't wanna break anything, so. This is what it looks like from the back. It's just some plastic zip tie thingies. Okay, that is that. Ooh, that's gonna be, okay, that's that. The, I mean, it's pretty easy to get this out. I'm just more worried about freeing the torso. There we go. And that's the figure. So let me get rid of all the trash here and then we're going to take a closer look at Metal Mouth himself. Now his accessories as stated on the box are his two pickaxes, his back bling, and his sniper. However, something I was extremely surprised of because it was not mentioned on the box is that he actually comes with an extra accessory. Now as you can see, Metal Mouth here has a pistol holster 
This is what he comes with when he's in the box. This is not separate. Now I thought that the gun that you can see here is glued into the actual holster. However, it is not it's actually fully removable out of the holster. Even though this is not mentioned in any way on the box. I was really surprised by this because you'd expect that this is going to be mentioned on the box. Let's get back to the accessories. So the accessories he actually comes with is his two pickaxes, his pistol on the side of his holster, his backlink, and his sniper rifle, which I still haven't tested if he can hold them, but I'm pretty sure he can. We will be testing that together. So his sniper rifle is the heavy sniper rifle from within the game. It does the most damage from all the sniper rifles, and it is a very simple paint job. There's uh, no weathering or anything to it. However, there's some nice olive green paint right here, aside from the black plastic, which it is cast in as far as I can tell. So this is painted, whereas so this is cast. So that's a nice touch that there's actually some paint on here. Then for the back bling, this is actually not the back bling that the skin comes with. This is a back bling from, I believe, the first ever $5 like prime pack or whatever like the five you could like buy a pack for five bucks which included a skin and a back bling and some v bucks and this is actually from that skin and it actually has more paint detail than in the game because in the game it's just a black color whereas to the plastic version has some nice gray detailing on the top and on the bottom here it does have a pack here which plugs into metal mathers back. Then you have a pistol here which is just cast in a great gunmetal type plastic. There's no more paint detail to it than that. But again, this is an accessory that was not mentioned on the box. So this is a very nice surprise. Then of course he comes with his two clubs, pickaxes, I guess in a way, cast in two different plastics. It seems like the top part here is glued onto the bottom because they're different shades of plastic but they're, it's not paint. You can tell, so these are his two pickaxes. That was all of his accessories. Now, let's take those out of the way and take a closer look at Metal Mouth himself. And here he is out of the packaging and he is, very surprisingly, so much better than I had thought. There are some gripes that bother me about this guy, pretty obvious ones, but he's looking really good. I, I am extremely impressed with his articulation and with how well this figure feels. It feels very high quality. I'm surprised with how good this guy is. Yeah, as you guys can see, you have the backpack plugged into the back here. And there's a lot of empty space in between the back and the actual backpack. So that's really nice to see. And it fits in really well, even though that in the game, it's not actually the backpack that he comes with. So it's really nice. And his guns and everything fit really nicely into his hands. So I'm gonna take him off the rotating turntable and I'm gonna show you guys a close-up of Metal Mouth. Now here he is and he's looking really good. There's a little bit of paint splotching right here, nothing major so it doesn't bother you too much. The arrows on the forehead here are amazingly painted, there's no paint effects on that whatsoever. I think that his mask is actually painted because if you guys can see, this helmet here, or the mask here, ends, so this is actually paint. There is some slight paint splotching on the side here, but it's nothing super obvious because again, it's a darker plastic on with the metal type of paint. His vest is a softer type plastic material, which does help a little bit when you articulate him. I think the, the art style of the video game is very well represented here and you have the nice camouflage. There's some actual, uh, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's some texture here on his actual clothing, which I don't know if it's in the game. Now, I did notice something, which I don't know if you guys can see it very well, but there is a slight gap right here, which I don't think is intentional. I think it's actually some plastic that chipped off or something like that. These things personally don't bother me as much. However, I know that some people are gonna have a big problem with this. I mean, look at that paint detail. It's perfect, barely any paint splotching. I love that sort of crumbled up clothing effect they got, it's obviously sculpted, but since the harness is so well fitted to the figure, it just pulls it off really well. Now we're gonna go into the articulation segment. Now for his articulation, it is surprisingly extremely good. He does have a dumbbell joint at the top of his neck, which allows him to look up he does have, of course, full through 60 rotation, which again, it doesn't look as well back because of that sculpt. 
He does have a little bit of tilt, not very much, but just a little bit. Then he has four through six rotation for his shoulders. I do believe, I don't know how easy it is for you guys to tell, but I think there is a butterfly joint in there, but it doesn't work. I, I think there's a butterfly. Yeah, there is a butterfly joint in there. It's hard to tell for you guys, but it doesn't actually work. I think it's also hindered by the vest, but that's okay, I think. He has your upper thigh swivel. He has double jointed elbows, which go up way past 90. Very, very nice to look at. He does have a nice trigger finger with a up and down hinge. His shoulders go up that far, way past 90. This is very impressive. They didn't paint the inside of his hands. So you have the skin tone or the flesh tone right here. But if you open up the hands, the skin tone doesn't continue. It just stops, which that is a big, big, big bummer. I mean, come on. You can go that far back and that far forward, which is pretty good, all things considered. Let me take off his backpack here. With his harness, you can kick up not as far as I would like to. You can kick up that far, which is still pretty good. He has upper thigh rotation, which is pretty well hidden. It's almost hidden by the harness here, but not quite. He has double jointed knees, which go very far as well. Out to that far. Boot rotation, which is also really nicely hidden by the sculpt. His feet go that far down that far up, which is centered by the armor sculpt right here. And he has a forward facing pin for rocker. And of course he has some peg holes at the bottom of his feet. So that was your articulation segment. And now we're gonna be moving into my final thoughts on this figure. So what are my final thoughts on this figure? He is so flipping awesome. I had no idea how good this guy is. His feet are hindered by the articulation, which makes it really difficult to get him into a pose like this, which sucks. So it's really hard to make him stand upright, actually. And that's the only grab that I have, really. The rest is really cool. That and maybe his head. I wish he had better head articulation. But again, since the model just looks like that, it's not a big deal. I mean, being able to put him in this pose with no butterfly joints is just sick. This guy is so poseable and he looks so good. And for people that don't even play the game, you could buy this figure and you didn't even need to actually like or play the game because he just looks like a really cool soldier. Even with his head, I'm able to put him in a pose like this and it just looks natural. I forgot to mention, he has pinless elbows and knees, so you can't even see the pins. He looks very seamless. I think you should really pick him up. I am extremely impressed. I think I'm gonna pick up more of him and then just repaint him because he can just be any grunt. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. If you did, please leave a like, comment down below for any questions, comments or concerns. And I will see you guys in my next review. And until then, auf Wiedersehen.